All right, so this evening covering off the difference between a raised PTO and the traditional standard PTO. Uh, thank you to Fred Schultz, one of my subscribers, for asking the question. So the main difference is the raised PTO was an additional extra. Uh, what it does is obviously lift up the height from the standard PTO, but it also enables you to engage the PTO with your lever near your clutch there, spin the shaft, which runs a hydraulic, so you've got hydraulic control to raise and lift um, and other secondary hydraulic functions. But with this lever here, it adds a secondary gear to engage and disengage using this lever. So it means you can run uh, your hydraulics without having the PTO constantly going, which is a, a dangerous thing. You know, it's a very guarded item on modern tractors. Um, but it also means you can you know, plough or, um, you know, I like it because when you're slashing, you can raise and lower the slasher and disengage or engage uh, the PTO all with one hand on one side. Uh, now, the raised PTO is this outer casing that fits over the shaft. So you'll see that there's these two bolts here and two bolts under there. Those bolts fit onto your traditional mounting points on a standard PTO. Now when you take this casing off, and I've covered this in a previous video, this is what the internal shaft looks like. So instead of your grooved PTO shaft, you've got a gear, and this gear runs the additional gears in the top part of the raised PTO to power the PTO shaft. And by moving the lever, you're engaging the secondary gear forward and out, in and out, on and off. You notice here, we've still got our bearing. Um, that is a little bit freer, it's just caught there. And then there's our gear on the shaft to run the hydraulic pump. So if you're interchanging the two, you do have to get another shaft. Uh, make sure if you get a raised PTO, you get the corresponding shaft. So you take the casing off for the raised PTO, take the raised PTO shaft out, then over here you've got your traditional PTO. Now, exactly the same, we've got our gear for running the hydraulic pump. You will notice that the bearing here is part of the mounting plate and it is a lot thicker. Uh, this one's obviously cracked and damaged, but using a gasket, the same four mounting holes are used. So they are interchangeable. You can upgrade or downgrade on your Fordson if you get the right accessories. Same gasket and everything. Uh, easy process if you have the parts. Uh, this one did have a raised PTO. You can see the outline up there on the dirt where the housing was resting against the rear housing on the Fordson. Um, the person I got this tractor off kept the raised PTO but already had a shaft. So I've now inherited a raised PTO shaft, which I no longer need. And the other rack tractor I had that was burnt, this one's going in. So I will swap this out for a repaired one, because I reckon I'll be able to get this tractor running again. And I'll be able to sell it to someone else for another Fordson back operational. Anyway, Fred, thanks for commenting and subscribing to my channel. This one's for you. And anyone else that's curious about the interchangeability between a raised PTO and a normal traditional PTO. Alright.
Till the next one.